this is something that really has the potential to overwhelm our healthcare system. A unique situation awaits us. Flu season coinciding with COVID-19 and the possibility of a second wave have officials bracing for the worst. And today, the World Health Organization called for the increase in flu vaccines as Canada upped its dosage by millions, saying it's preparing for the simultaneous outbreak of both. Canada's flu season is known to put pressure on our hospitals, pushed to and over the brink of capacity each year. Add COVID-19 to that mix, and that could be a recipe for disaster. Both can result in serious illnesses that may require hospitalization. In a bad flu season, very quickly, that can fill up all of our hospital capacity to the point where we usually, even without COVID-19 being in the mix, are struggling. When you add COVID-19 on top, all of a sudden you get to a point where I, I think you can see the potential for calamity if both of these are, are surging at the same time. In the U.S., the CDC has projected a record 194 to 198 million doses of the flu vaccine, 20 million more than last year's season. Canada ordered north of 13 million doses for this year, over 2 million more than last season. The Public Health Agency of Canada says provinces and territories have increased vaccine orders, anticipating increased demands, quote, a resurgence of COVID-19 in the fall and winter months would place additional pressures on the health system. Getting a flu shot will prevent people from getting or spreading the flu and reduce the number of people needing to seek medical care. Everybody should feel very motivated because you don't want to be the person that gets a very severe case of the flu and you unfortunately can't get the treatment you need because the hospitals are full of flu cases and COVID-19 cases. I think this year it's going to be riskier than in any other year to get the flu uh, and to get it severely. Anyone six months and older is encouraged to get the flu shot and especially those in high risk groups. But the government says not enough Canadians get this vaccine. Only four in 10 or 42 percent of adults last year here in Ontario, approximately 30 percent get the shot. Do you expect more people to be getting this vaccine? I hope so. Uh, you know, one of the, our battles on an ongoing basis is to fight vaccine disinformation. So all of the absolutely false information that's out there that makes people either afraid to get a vaccine or just lazy to get a vaccine because they've been inappropriately informed. For flu season outlooks, experts turn to countries that had their influenza season months before we do. Australia, for instance, which has their winters during our summers, is reporting their lowest influenza numbers in years. And the hypothesis is that a lot of that is due to the distance, distancing that we've been doing for COVID-19. So, if that is an indication of what's ahead of us, there is cause for optimism. It's up to provinces and territories to decide on a start date on when to roll out the flu vaccinations, but that's something that's usually done in either October or November. The province does tell City News it's working with the feds to ensure it has access to these vaccines as soon as possible this fall. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.